Father God, it is another midnight hour that you've allowed me to come to you in prayer. And Father God, I just thank you for that. I thank you for all of those who touch and agree with me that your word says when two or more are gathered that you're in the midst of Father God. I so thank you that we can stand on your word, Father God. I, I thank you for your word, Father God. I thank you for the promises that are in your word, Father God. And I thank you for your precious son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins and that he shed his precious blood, Father God, for our sins. And Father God, I'm so glad that the blood still works, Father God, that there's power in the blood, Father God. There's power in your word, Father God, and there's power in love, Father God. And I know with everything going on, all of the political rhetoric, Father God, it cannot compare to what you have prepared for those who love you, Father God, for those who will serve you, Father God, for those who will share your word, Father God. This is what you are calling us to do, Father God, and, and help us not to lose hope and not to lose faith in, in, in serving you, Father God, and for all those who are grieving, Father God, for all those who are sick right now, Father God, for all those who are just confused and hurt and feel hopeless, Father God, I know what you can do, Father God. You can do anything but fail, Father God. And I just ask that you touch only like you can, Father God, that you hold only like you can, Father God, that you whisper a word only like you can, Father God, to just keep us, Father God, because we need you now, Father God, more than ever. I know that the enemy is trying to do some things and your word said that the enemy would try to do these things. But Father God, your word also said that you have all power and I thank you for having all power, Father God. I thank you that we can come to you, Father God, in the morning for prayer, Father God, that we can come to you noonday for prayer, Father God, that we can come to you evening in prayer, Father God that we can come to you collectively and we can come to you by ourselves, Father God, just calling out your name, Father God, saying hallelujah anyhow, no matter what's going on around me, Father God, that you are still God all by yourself, Father God. I thank you for that, Father God. I thank you for the other night that you allowed me to pray with my mom, Father God. And so many people right now have lost their mother, and I know that it's hard for them, Father God, but I say thank you for mine, Father God, and for everyone who hear this, if their mother is still living, Father God, and have them to make time or take time, not only with their mother, Father God, but with other family members and other friends, Father God, to make time and take time to just call and check on each other, check on a neighbor, check on a co-worker, just ask someone, how are they doing, Father God? And I know that it's not politically correct to be going around and preaching, but Father God, I pray that you just put a boldness down in our spirit, Father God, that will shine so bright that they will ask us and father god when we can tell them we'll tell them but even if we can't tell them father god that your light will bright will shine so bright that they will see it father god we know that we need you father god and and i just plead your blood father god i just thank you for your grace and mercy father god because Every church that's open in your name, Father God, I just pray that they will continue to hold up the bloodstained banner, Father God, that they will continue on this journey, that they will continue on the mission, that they won't look back, Father God, that they won't turn back, Father God. Some churches had to close their doors, Father God, but your doors are never closed, Father God, that we can come to you and that those of us who do have the opportunity to witness and to invite people to church or to send them 
information of churches that are open virtually, Father God, that it is time to get down to business with evangelizing and sharing your word, Father God, for we don't have time to waste, Father God. It's all about kingdom building and glorifying you, Father God. I just thank you, Father God. I thank you for my children, Father God. I thank you for my family, Father God. I thank you for my friends, Father God. I thank you for my employment, Father God. I thank you for being in charge of all of that, Father God. And I know that I've messed some things up, but Father God, I thank you for turning things around, Father God. I thank you for your healing power, Father God, your grace, your mercy. I just thank you for being you, Father God. And I know that other people are putting confidence in other things, Father God, but I pray that they can turn it around while there is still time to put their trust in you, Father God, because you will never fail us. And oh, right now, Father God, I know some people think that they've done things on their own, that they have their own might, Father God, and that they they really don't know, Father God. And I just ask that you forgive them for they know not what they do, because I know for sure, Father God, that a lot of things that's going on, it's not of you, but people are going along, they get along, Father God, and I know that that will not get us in heaven, Father God. The way you are the way, the truth, and the light, Father God, and may we follow you, your way, your truth, and follow your light. I love you and I bless your holy name today and I give you all the honor and glory that you and you alone deserve. Amen.